Welcome to Poland, the land of... Bober, kurwa. Kurwa jezek. Kurwa uzik. Kurwa ratatuj, poczekaj. Ratatuj, kurwa ratatuj. Finally, we see some major changes in the alignment. First of all is the smaller toe angle for the front tires because there are not so many tires in Poland, so bigger numbers will only be less beneficial. The rear toe is also smaller because you'll be going much faster, so you don't want the rear wheels to drag over the terrain, but roll as much as possible while also helping with the stability and corner drive out. Now the camber angles are set higher. The faster you go in a corner, the more deformation the tires experience, and more camber is needed to combat those deformations. Since the average track speed is way higher in Poland compared to other locations, minus 2.0 degrees for the front wheels and minus 1.75 degrees for the rear wheels will be perfect here. In the differentials tab, I settled on these values for the driving lock, braking lock and preload, because there are no crazy steep climbs like in Chile or slippery terrains or anything like this. But on some tracks, there are more turns than straight lines, so to be quick in both situations, these values are the GOAT. Because in championships, chances are that you can't change the setup in between a faster track and a slower track, so you gotta work with what you have. Now in the damping tab, I've only softened the slow bump just one pip, even though the road bumpiness of Poland is unmatched. It's gonna be a little bit bumpy, not gonna lie, but the car will stay as planted on the road as a magnet on the fridge. Since there are a few smaller jumps and crests here and there, I've stiffened the fast bump with just one pip and set the bump division at 0.52 meters per second. The bigger the jumps get, the bigger the fast bump stiffness and the bump division becomes. But that's not the case here. And finally here is the rebound, which is set to a value of minus 2, so the damper won't be restricted to extend and push the wheels down when navigating the bumpy terrain. Hey, did you know that Nox has started memberships on his channel? Oh wow, so what? I mean, it has an offer like never seen before. Mm -hmm. No, really, you can ask for customized tuning setups. Wait, what? Yeah, if you sign up as chief engineer, you can tell him the location and the car you're struggling with and he will make you a tuning setup just for you and help you with any other adjustments. No way! Plus, you will get early access to WRC1 and WRC2 setups before they make it to YouTube and a growing collection of tuning setups for various cars in various locations. But this is also included for the engineer level, right? Yes, you're right. So. What are you waiting for? Since we're going crazy fast in Poland, the braking force can be increased to a medium high value, so you can be late enough on the brakes to not lose too much time in this phase and be gone as fast as possible after each corner. Or imagine a bobber gets in your way and you have to brake really fast to avoid the collision. If I were a dev at EA, I swear I would have sneaked this as an easter egg. Now for the brake bias, with high speed and high braking force, the likeliness of locking becomes higher. So in order to prevent this, you need to shift some of the braking force to the rear wheels as well. 64% ensures the fastest and shortest stopping distance. The handbrake force doesn't need to be set too high, because the rear wheels will lock too hard when pulling the handbrake and slow you down too much. This value ensures the back end of your car rotates just enough, so you can get through those hairpins and square turns like a pro. In the gear tab, you can see that the final drive is set just 5 clicks under the default value. This means that this time the gearbox is set to produce more speed rather than acceleration, because Poland. Then all the gears were adjusted to fit this location as best as possible, some of them deliver more torque and some deliver more speed than with the default values. Springs! As said earlier, the bumpiness of Poland is unmatched, so in order to be safe around these tracks, you need to set the ride height no lower than 60mm. Now the spring rate is set very soft compared to the slow bump. This is to compensate for the bump absorption, so the car will be drivable and very predictable. It's always better to have stiffer dampers and soft springs than vice versa. The anti-roll bars are not very stiff this time. They are also a component of the suspension system, so with a stiff ARB, if one wheel goes over a bump, the other will follow. With a soft setting, the up and down motion of one tire won't be transmitted to the other side as much. But also, the battery roll won't be absorbed as much. We are also on a pretty high ground clearance here, so all these factors combined make up for the settings you see here. Now, I hope that after applying my settings your times will improve radically, and if so, leave a like, a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and maybe buy me a coffee. Thank you so much for watching, see you on the track, bye bye!